Good evening. As usual, I'm gonna start by preheating the air fryer. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna be preparing my ingredients. And you may be wondering why I keep doing this cooking show if I'm just gonna follow the same recipe. And part of it is to impart the concept of routines. That for me, I eat the most imaginably healthy diet week in and week out because I have a routine around preparing dinner and lunch and a mid-afternoon meal for that matter. But routines are what I'm trying to convey with this video and the PDF that you can download allows, enables you to adopt the exact routine that I do that enables me to get uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables every day and three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, uh, staples of my recipe. Today, we're gonna be, cel or this week, I should say, we're gonna be celebrating the wonders of red kale. I mean, it's labeled red kale. To me, it's purple kale. And um, a bunch of purple, a bunch of vegetables usually is 200 grams, and I always aim for 400 grams. So I'm gonna supplement my 200 grams of purple kale today with um, on the vine ripened tomato. I also have accompanying vegetables, jalapeno pepper, purple onion, and bell pepper. For seasonings, I've got fresh basil, Italian seasoning, extra virgin olive oil, anchovy paste, salt, pepper, garlic. And my protein is gonna be tempeh. I use my cheat sheet to tell me how long everything is gonna take to prepare. Tempeh is 15 minutes, purple kale nine minutes. Tomatoes, when I'm gonna make them into a marinara sauce are 25 minutes and the rest of these are at least 15 minutes. So my rate limiting step, my slowest ingredient is gonna be the tomatoes. The onions and jalapeno pepper can take anywhere from 15 minutes to however long you need. So I'm gonna put them all in together and then my plan will be when I have nine minutes left and set it for 25 minutes. Then when I have nine minutes left, I'm gonna be adding in my purple kale. I add the tomatoes and accompanying vegetables to the bowl. I will add a large heaping dollop of minced garlic. I will add a large heaping dollop of Italian Seasoning, I will add a large heaping dollop of anchovy paste. This looks like something I would express from a wound. Never mind that. And um, extra virgin olive oil. And salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna stir it all about, add it to the air fryer. As always, I'm cooking at 390 degrees and 25 minutes. At five minute intervals, I shake it. And when I have 15 minutes left, I'll add the tempeh. When I have nine minutes left, I'll add the purple kale. I will see you in when I'm about to add the tempeh. I'm at the 15 minute point, which means that I'm gonna add this tempeh. To the tempeh, I've already added, a, 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 I chopped it up first of all, eight ounces, and then I added Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, a little extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and some more anchovy paste. I'm gonna add this to the air fryer. At the uh, nine minutes left point, I'm going to be adding the kale, and then at the five minutes left point, I put in the fresh herbs. So I'll see you back when there's nine minutes left. There's nine minutes left, so I'm going to add my kale. I've chopped up this kale, I've taken off the, the I've thrown out the stiff stalks. 
and I've added salt, pepper, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna make sure I stir this in really well because the kale has a tendency to burn when it's on the top. So I wanna kinda of bury it as much as possible. I'm gonna add the fresh basil when I have five minutes remaining. So I'll see you in four minutes. I've got five minutes remaining. I'm going to add the basil. I'm gonna stir this around. I can hear the crunchiness. You have to be careful in the last five minutes not to burn this puppy, not to burn the kale. So I'm gonna probably check it like in three minutes. I've only got five minutes to go, but I wanna prevent the kale from burning, so I need to turn it again before that five minutes is up. I'll see you back when we're done. All right, we're ready. It's done. Looks pretty good if I don't say so myself. Or if I say so myself, something like that. I'll add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna hold off on adding more salt because the anchovy paste is pretty high in sodium. Voila, dinner is served. Italian marinara with purple kale and tempeh. 